Hi everyone, welcome to Special Ally. Uh, I'm here today with Greg and Gino, the Executive Director of the Woodward Children's Center in Freeport, New York, uh, which serves children with emotional and conduct disorder difficulties. Uh, welcome, Greg. Thanks for being here Good today. Good morning, Dave. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the school and its programs. Well, originally the school started back in the 50s with uh, our founder was uh, Gertrude Berman and she started working with students uh, at her home and uh, she was very involved in dealing with students with emotional disturbance and uh, she was able uh, to get funding and she actually was able to achieve the building of the Woodward Children's Center. Um, wow. We actually became a corporate entity back in 1957 and the building uh, was built uh, about 1967. And, uh, and that's where we are still today. So we've been in business over 50 years. Wow, wow. It's been fantastic. And about how many kids uh, do you have there? We service up to 80 students. That's our capacity. Mm -hmm. And are most of them from the city or the island? Or? Majority of students come from uh, New York City. We have kids coming all the way in from Staten Island. I see, I see. And it's funded primarily um, by the state? Uh, we get our funding through the school districts. The school districts actually uh, send the students to us. These are students that have difficulty being mainstream in regular districts, and uh, some of them have gone to BOCES, and they still have more challenges, and they are then referred to us. And I that's see. our specialty. I see. And, and um, do you have primarily clinicians there, or educators, or both? We have both. We have a, a full cl clinical component where we have uh, social workers on staff, we have a psychologist on staff, and we also have a psychiatrist on staff. And uh, when it comes to academics, uh, we have uh, special ed teachers and specialized teachers in a variety of areas, which we keep enhancing the program with. Okay, so there's classroom learning, like Correct. which is typical, what you'd find in any school. Um, kids learning um, academics or uh, academics that are geared towards this population right. in the classroom. Um, and there's also one-on-one? -on -one. Yes, we also have one-to-one. Uh, -one. Uh, most of the classes are set up eight one-to-one. -one. Uh, we have two classes that are set up 12 one-to-one. -one. But a number of students, if they require one-to-one -one, uh, uh, coverage, uh, the district also provides that service. So literally in some... some uh, particular classrooms, you might have four or five adults to uh, eight students. Wow. So there's plenty of uh, supervision and enhancement of the learning process. That's great. Um, and there are also uh, jobs uh, or, or, or skills uh, classes from what I remember seeing. Right. Well, just getting back to the uh, academic program, okay. uh, we're fully accredited um, and we also, the students can earn their region's diplomas. And we have uh, special ed teachers that uh, help them achieve that. And then uh, as far as our vocational transitional component, um, we have actually uh, a Deb uh, Shashon who has just joined us. She's our transitional coordinator. And she's really been doing a fantastic job uh, as far as transitioning the, you know, the kids into the program. Um, we have students that are working in 17 job sites now. Um, anywhere from uh, Freeport Animal Shelter uh, to Walgreens, CVS, um, yeah, uh, bakeries, um, um, Baldwin Diner, uh, 17 locations where the students are taking what they've learned in their vocational class, uh, taking that knowledge and now expanding it into the work environment, which is you know, a home run. That's the ultimate right. goal. That's what we're after. Right. Absolutely. And so it's been working real well. Uh, we've been getting positive feedback from the business owners uh, and the I've community. Heard it's been really great. Yeah, well, that's great. So, um, so you help them both find the job and adapt to it. Correct. Right. And they also uh, through uh, Long Island Cares, uh, we have a small grant. Uh, so there's actually a sliding scale stipend for these students that they actually are earning some income. As far as also the transitional program, we have a vocational program where we actually have the students learning wood shop. They're actually uh, learning, you know, how to do different wood projects, uh, things that are done in the construction area. We have a culinary area 
where the kids are being prepped to work in fast food restaurants it's or really cafeterias. Big kitchen. We have a full staffed uh, commercial kitchen, um, which has really been a great learning experience for a lot of the youngsters. We also have an auto shop, uh, which with a full lift and uh, all the tools and equipment necessary uh, to learn how to become an auto mechanic. Wow. So, you know, um, we, and we also have a, a barber shop where some of the kids are getting certified that they can get their license to go out and cut hair. We have cosmetology. No kidding. We have a full spectrum uh, of learning experience vocationally for our students. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So the kids get academic learning. Right. They get some job skills. They get uh, connections with the community, with the surrounding community. And they get, I guess, also clinical care. Right, which is... A, you know, most important. Um, the kids receive two or three times a week um, psychotherapy from our clinicians, um, and those are our social workers, mm -hmm. uh, and they follow their, the students' IEP. Some students come with what they What's call an IEP. It's an individual educated program uh, that's assigned okay. from the uh, school district, and these are the goals that the student comes to us with. And uh, some students have what they call a BIP which is a behavior intervention program. So if a student gets upset, uh, our teachers are trained on, actually our whole building is trained on how to deal with that particular student's uh, functioning or any type of behavior that might occur, how to deal with it. You know, reinforces and, you know, positive talk or, you know, if it takes, you know, walking with the student to calm them down and, um, you know, just focusing on, detailed on that particular student's needs. And those details are important. Oh, absolutely. It's, and all it's different for different student. students. What you do for this student might not work with that student. Correct. And it's what this right. student needs to get by, to just live for the next hour or two. Absolutely. To cope. Right, right. And that's what we focus on, and, uh, and that's what we've been very successful with that. Now, I've seen a really, what looks to me to be a really impressive level of technology also. Yes. Uh, smart boards, smart right? Smart boards, yes. Uh, actually, uh, about three years, yeah, maybe longer than that, about five years ago, um, Ms. Colucci, who's now our principal, mm -hmm. uh, who's really brought so much to our program as far as technology, uh, we were involved with the grant uh, through Long Island Cares also, and with BOCES. And uh, we were able to bring uh, technology into Woodward, mm -hmm. and uh, where we have, um, you know, iPads. Every classroom now has, uh, like you just had mentioned, smart boards. Our, our staff are trained with the use of technology using the smart boards. Uh, we just revamped our, our computer lab. We have state of the art of a computer lab um, in the building, and. Uh, the, the student that comes to Woodward today is getting the utmost, the top technology that uh, any student could be offered in the regular district. Wow, that's terrific. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of following up on that, uh, the tech, technology changes um, uh, and the upgrades to this technology changes have been recent. There have been other recent improvements at Woodward. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, yes, we actually uh, have revamped the entire building. Um, we got a very generous do donation from Marshawn Eyewear, uh, and they actually gave us all their uh, business furniture through their entire company because they were moving to a different company. And we were able to bring all that uh, new furniture and components to our program, to the building. So. You know, our building years ago might have looked like the 1980s, and now it's, uh, you know, 2013. You wow. know, it's, if someone who hasn't been there in a number of years, when they come in, they're like, wow, they're very impressed with it. And the, the families that come, they're very impressed with the program. We offer the kids uh, a lot of fun things to do. We had bowling this year. Uh, kids have uh, tennis, horseback riding. Uh, we were able to take them uh, to Splish Splash, Adventureland. Uh, they would go swimming two or three times a week. They mm -hmm. were able to go to the beach. It was really a fun experience for them, you know. And they love coming to the summer program. It's <laughs> great. You know? So it's a, it's, a, it's a real complete program for any student that comes to us. Um, and you meet with parents. You have parents come in yes. for um, 
meetings or, or a day? Yeah, we actually have something we instituted about a year ago. Uh, we have a monthly parent meeting uh, where parents have an opportunity to come and usually we have a, a specific topic. It might be nutrition or health or how to deal with a certain issue. And it's been very well attended. Um, we have anywhere be between 25 and 30 parents that come for a luncheon. Uh, some of the parents might have a little difficulty uh, coming, getting there because, like I said, we have students coming as far as uh, Staten Island, but we uh, do whatever th is possible to get them there. Uh, we have uh, transportation from the train station and we'll bring them to the meeting. And if a parent really can attend, uh, we offer Skype that they can okay. actually plug into the meeting and ask questions. But it's been very well attended. It's been a positive experience for the parents um, because they, they have to know that we care. There's other parents out there that have similar issues. Sure. And we want to be able to uh, you know, help their child. And they can stay engaged with the program. They can know Absolutely. what's going on. And if they have concerns or questions, they can ask them. Absolutely. And I right. guess the program can respond by being improved, by learning uh, right. from what the parents have to say and their, right. the parents' right. reaction to the program Correct. will make the program better. Absolutely. Right? It's a um, win-win uh, relationship. I wonder if we might be able to, during the school year, come to the school and do a follow-up episode. Absolutely. We'd welcome that. Yeah, I would love that. Visit is, um, you know, just getting back to the technology, uh, we're also affiliated with New York Tech. Um, really? And they were instrumental in also helping us with the grant. And uh, Woodward was actually cited as, when it came to doing this grant and this project. Uh, there were 15 um, districts that were involved in the grant, and Woodward actually came in number one as far as that project that we did with the no Tuskegee Airmen. Wow. Yeah, so it was quite an accomplishment. It was a great learning experience. and. Uh, we were, Woodward was really recognized for that. In fact, uh, uh, Daniel Colucci has been asked to do several talks and trainings for uh, BOCES. So she's really kind of like the pioneer of uh, technology. <laughs> you know, and very cool. We're very fortunate to have her not only bringing in this technology, but also as our principal. You know, That's great. We have a very good working relationship. That's great. Well, thank you very much um, for you, being man. here, and I look forward to uh, coming to visit the school sometime soon. Look forward to having you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Take care.